symmetry refers to the invariance of a system under certain transformations. Yes, here the topic is symmetry breaking, but first of all we should know what is symmetry. So if you consider geometric objects, then explanation of symmetry becomes easier. Though symmetry breaking, this is a topic uh, which is discussed under the uh, subject area of theoretical physics. And this topic you will find in the subject of mathematics also. Okay, so this actually falls under uh, the subject area of theoretical physics and in the field of cosmology, in the field of particle physics, in the field of condensed matter physics, you will find this topic, symmetry breaking. Okay, so what is symmetry? So first of all, let us consider geometric objects. And uh, when we are talking about symmet symmetric, uh, symmetry breaking, then uh, symmetry, I have told you that uh, if it does not change under certain transformations. Say, we are talking about a rotational symmetry. So, if you are considering rotational symmetry, take one square and uh, say the square is kept at a position. Okay. It is kept at a position. And if you now rotate the uh, square on the surface of the plane of the square, okay, by 90 degrees, there will be no change, appearance will remain same. If you rotate it by 180 degrees, again you will get the same appearance. If you rotate the square by an angle of 270 degrees, again you will get the same thing. And the last one is, uh, it is known to you, it is 360 degrees. It comes to, uh, comes back to its original position. Okay, so what is the order of symmetry in this case? It is 4, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees. So when it is square, number of symmetry is 4. Means here it is actually no, not number of symmetry, it is order of symmetry. It is 4. For rectangle also, you will find this uh, property, symmetry. But here order will not be 4 for rectangle. If the sides are different, if they are not equal, then it is called normally rectangle. And square is a special case of rectangle where sides become equal. But when sides are not equal, then order of symmetries is not 4, rather it will be 2. It will remain unchanged for the rotation of 180 degrees and 360 degrees, not for 90 degrees and 270 degrees, okay? Only for 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So order will be 2. In nature, you, you can find symmetric objects, such as if you consider sunflower, it is symmetric. If you consider uh, daisy flower, so many types of flowers are there. If you observe carefully, you can find it. Okay, you can easily verify whether it is symmetric or not. Regular polygons, those are also symmetric, but order will be different. It depends upon the number of sides. And a circle can be considered as a symmetric object. And what is the order in this case? Order will be infinity. And for uh, the rotational symmetry, this is also called uh, radial symmetry. Again, there are many translational symmetry also. So this was all about symmetry. Now come to the point symmetry breaking. Say an object or a system is in a state of a more symmetric state. I am talking about more. When symmetric state means more symmetric state. And if there is a transition for which the system goes to a state of less symmetry, then we will say that there is a symmetry breaking. Okay. There is a symmetry breaking if there is a change in the state of the system with respect to its 
symmetricity. Okay. So whenever a system reaches from a symmetric state, a symmetric state to a less symmetric state, then we will say that there is a symmetry breaking. And in this regard, symmetry breaking uh, examples are there, no doubt. Uh, in case of ferromagnetism, this is one example. Means uh, in case of ferromagnetism, the magnetic uh, moments, the alignment of the magnetic moments, that is the uh, case of symmetry breaking. In case of cosmology also, the cosmic microwave background radiation means if you consider early uh, universe and if you consider microwave background radiation, then you will find symmetry breaking is there. Okay. And uh, this topic symmetry breaking, this is discussed uh, uh, in case of quantum field theory also. Anyway, uh, I am not going to elaborately discuss all the points, then uh, the length of the video will be more than one hour and that video won't be watched by anybody, I know. Okay, and there is one more topic uh, in the context of symmetry breaking that is uh, Goldstone's theorem. Okay, so to discuss Goldstone's theorem, I will make uh, a separate video. There you will get massless particles. Okay, known as uh, Goldstone bosons. Okay, there you will find that uh, means uh, in case of continuous symmetry, there is, if there is a transition, then there is formation of Goldstone bosons. Anyway, all those things will be discussed in a separate video. In this video, my aim was to discuss only the definition of symmetry and symmetry breaking. What is the meaning of symmetry breaking? I have explained symmetry breaking with respect to geometrical objects. But in case of physical laws, means in case of physics, if you consider laws of motion, if you consider electromagnetism, then those laws or those equations of laws of motion and electromagnetism, those you will find symmetry. Okay, you will find rotational symmetry. Anyway, all those things will be discussed in separate videos. In a single video, this is not possible to discuss everything. Okay, so I think I should uh, uh, end this, end here, this video. Okay, anyway, so this was all about symmetry breaking. Thank you, thank you for watching this video.